We want to bring you more on that breaking overnight news out of Rehoboth. Only I'm going to see on the scene of that deadly early morning crash. Happening on Route 6, Fall River Avenue. Around 1.30 this morning, the row was shut down overnight as part of this investigation. I want to go right up to Eyewitness News reporter Julianne Lima. She's been tracking the very latest from the scene. And what can you tell us now, Julianne? Well, Danielle and Patrick, the medical examiner, left with the body about an hour ago. And just a few minutes ago, the car was towed away from the scene. But if you look behind me, it's a little hard to make out. But that mangled, charred group of metal right there, that's actually the cab of the truck that the driver crashed into. And police are still working to get in touch with the person who owns this truck. Now, an eyewitness news viewer sent us some photos moments after the crash happened. You can see the car fully engulfed in flames. Rehoboth police tell us the car went off the road and crashed into the park Park tractor trailer around 1:20 this morning. Police say the driver was dead when they arrived. At this point, they think that person was the only occupant in the car. We spoke exclusively to the person who called 911. I didn't see him hit, but I saw the car blow up and then it started catching into the other truck, like in the tractor trailer. When I got out of my car, I was recording it, and I could feel it from my car is parked right there. I could feel it from like, and I'm across the street from it. You know, like it was definitely really odd. When we got here, we could see that the uh, vehicle had crashed into a park tracked trailer unit and it was fully engulfed. Now, this portion of Route 6 was closed for about three and a half hours. It has since been reopened to traffic. The scene is mostly clear, but some Rehoboth police officers are still here, as well as some members of the state police accident reconstruction team. Now, coming up in about 30 minutes, we'll explain why police say it was so lucky that man was in the area to call 911 as quickly as he did. For now, reporting live in Rehoboth, I'm Julianne Lima, Eyewitness News. Breaking overnight, Rehoboth police investigating a fiery and deadly crash overnight. We obtained these unbelievable cell phone images from an eyewitness overnight. The pinpoint news tracker shows you where it happened on Fall River Avenue. Now that's Route 6. It's all happening at about 1.30 this morning. Eyewitness News first on the scene shortly after this happened. Julianne Lima has all of the breaking overnight details now. Well, Danielle and Patrick, the last two police officers just left the scene, and they tell us the driver of the car went off the road and crashed into a park tractor trailer. You can see the remains of that truck right here behind me. Take a look at the cab of the truck. It's now been reduced to a pile of charred metal, and police are still trying to get in touch with the owner of this truck. Now, we do have some new video for you at 630 of the car being towed away from the scene. You can see it's completely mangled. Rehoboth police tell us the driver of this car was dead when they arrived. Only only eyewitness news was here in the moments after the crash. Police tell us the car caught fire after crashing into the tractor trailer and the flames quickly spread to the truck. We spoke exclusively to the man who called 911. Ryan Carney was driving on Route 6 when he saw the car burst into flames. Police say there's potential that fire could have spread to businesses in the area, and it's lucky Carney was able to call 911 so quickly. It was really smoky. You know, I could see there was smoke like, all over, like in that area. Like the flames were spreading pretty quick too. Like the metal was like falling down. I saw it. It was like all like just falling apart. And, like maybe like five minutes, that whole truck was like disintegrated. It's possible. It's possible that it could have spread. Um, so it is lucky that we did have somebody down in the area to call us right away. And again, this portion of Route 6 was closed down for about three and a half hours. All is clear now. Traffic is moving normally in the area. Now, again, this crash is still under investigation. Police believe the victim was the only person involved. They don't yet know if they were a man or a woman. But, of course, stay with Eyewitness News as we continue to track this story. We'll have the very latest for you starting at 7 a.m. over on Fox Providence. For now, reporting live in Rehoboth, I'm Julianne Lima, Eyewitness News.